You hungry? Sit. Meet Rafael. He's a three-month-old boxer mix and will soon be up for adoption at the Alachua County Humane Society. Sit. But until then, he'll stay. Good boy. In a foster home. No. I had him for probably a little over a month now. Um, when I first got him, he uh, he had a skin condition called Demodex. It was uh, covering most of his face. Almost the whole snout was covered in just looked like dry, bumpy skin. But um, since then, it's gotten a lot better. We, we do medicated baths with him. Does that look like medicated baths? Keeping puppies like Raphael healthy is not cheap. After expenses like medication and food, it costs about $350 to take care of each animal they take in. Here at the Alachua County Humane Society, Raphael isn't the only cute youngster up for adoption. Here they have kittens, cats, big dogs, small dogs, and at one time, even horses. We're going to do horses again in the future, but we're, we're not ready for that again yet. We just got moved into here. The new home for the Alachua County Humane Society has more rooms for cats and more play space for dogs like this guy. Basic thing is we want the person who's adopting to have the perfect match when they go home um, for long term, not just the joy of that day. It's it really, really a simple process. They fill out an application, meet the animal they love, and take it home a little later that day. Most of the animals up for adoption were at one time in danger of being put down. This is Sally. And like Sally, most of the pets come from animal services. And there, they don't have much time before they are euthanized if they are not claimed or adopted. No, kittens, um, most cats, I think cats have three days, and then kittens, underage kittens don't have that long at all. They, I think it's a day, maybe. So. That's where the Alachua County Humane Society steps in. I try as much as I can to help the situation. You know, I'll try to do my best to accommodate any dog that I can. <laughs> Helping you find the perfect home for these furry friends. Chris Day, WUFT News.